this pandemic has shown us the different faces of all. Some in need of help and some went out of their way. Well. Today are there some of the great personalities joining us. So let's get acquainted with what measures they took for their countries. Today we have Mrs. Angela Merkel, Chancellor of Germany. Hello ma'am. Hello everyone. We have Catherine Jacob from Iceland. Hello ma'am. Hello everyone. We have Mette Fredrickson from Denmark. Hello ma'am. Hello everyone. And we have Anna Solberg from Norway. Hello ma'am. Hi everyone. We are experiencing the biggest pandemic in the recent years. This was a competition for the world leaders of their management and leadership qualities. We have the leaders over here. The guardian of the survey of the world leaders and I came up with a question that are women leaders more successful at managing the COVID-19 crisis? Let's check out that one by one. We have Mrs. Angela Murphy from Germany. Welcome to the show, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Uh, ma'am, my first question is how did you manage the COVID-19 crisis with a population of 83 million? I was held for direct but uncharacteristically personal public interventions. I warned that 70% of people will contract the virus. This would be the country's greatest challenge since 1945. Thanks to the extensive testing kits from the outset and plenty of intensive care beds. Germany has so far recorded 5,000 deaths, a far lower figure than most European countries. I had been giving 430 reminders that COVID-19 was serious and my people took it seriously. So hats off to them as well. Very nice to know, ma'am. My next question is, did it affect your GDP? And how did you come back? Uh, yes, this pandemic caused a historic decline in the economic output in Germany. At the end of July, the Federal Statistical Office recorded an unprecedented drop of 10.1% in GDP in the second quarter. Speechless, ma'am. It was uh, very well to know. Next, we have Katrin Jekyll from Iceland. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Uh, as far as Iceland is concerned, its tourism industry is the backbone of the economy. Uh, in the uh, pandemic situation, all the international flights were called off. So, uh, what were the measures taken from the, for the tourism industry? Yes. As my countrymen are mainly dependent upon tourism industry, we made it compulsory for all. And as soon as arriving in Iceland, all citizens and tourists are encouraged and made compulsory to be tested. And vaccinated individuals will continue to be required to present this negative PCR test results no more than 72 hours and 5 days quarantine in between. Yeah, very inspirational, ma'am. Uh, my next question was that the whole world was uh, going through a transformation of, from offline to online. So, what made your country not to close the schools? Yes. All citizens with symptoms and non-symptoms are done with pre-testing. Tourists are quarantined for almost five days. And also the children from 2005 and onwards are all under border majors. And also we recorded only 1800 cases and 10 deaths. And that's all that made my country not close the schools. Truly impressive ma'am. Next we have Mrs. Mary Fredrickson from Denmark. Welcome to the show ma'am. Thank you. Uh, ma'am, my question is, how did you encourage your people to stay at home? So, I have given clear instruction to the nation about the pandemic and to take it seriously. I have your punchable speeches and uh, closed the Scandinavian country borders as early as 30 March, followed by shutting down all the schools, universities and kindergartens and ban of gathering and more people. And about the encourage to stay home, I posted my clip while doing confirmed cases and three seven events. A very thoughtful way to deal with the pandemic, ma'am. Thank uh, you. Next, we have Anna Solberg from Norway. Uh, ma'am, my question was, what measures did uh, you take for your country and your scientists and doctorates? Norway and Sweden have similar population and similar healthcare system. But a different reaction to COVID-19 pandemic. How do we appoint or appoint scientists to make a big decision on adding to that? I thought a country's early lockdown and the testing program had been a key. I took an early tool step of addressing countries children directly through two press conferences in which drug journalists were banned and it was addressed to be a little bit scared. Yeah. Ma'am, I would like to know what precautions and decisions were made during the pandemic. Uh, Norway with 7,200 cases and 182 deaths, uh, this week began to relax its restrictions by reopening the gardens. Uh, uh, 